Yeah, Yo, you know I've been seeing on Instagram a bunch of Karen videos. You guys know the oh Karen videos? Oh my god, yeah, I've but seen But they're a few like of those. they're extreme amounts of Karen videos. Mm-hmm. There's like Karen accounts now. And it's just hilarious because the shit they get mad over. I saw one today. Basically, these like city guys were spray painting arrows on the sidewalk showing that you got to walk this direction. And she was like, are you serious? This is tyranny. This is communism. <laughs> what? This Wait, is how they get you. Why were they doing that? Just to show like you got to walk in this direction. I mean, I don't know who's right and who's wrong at this point because I think you should be able to walk. Wait, was that way. in the store? No, it's outside in the street, like in a public street. So they're telling which direction to walk with on the streets. Yeah. Which, honestly, to be honest, you don't really need an arrow to know which way you're going to walk. If you walk the opposite way, if they give you like a ticket for that, then yeah, it's bullshit. Yeah. But I think it's just a simple guideline. Like, let's try to be on this side of the street to walk that way. This side of the street to walk that way. Yeah, it's so like just, everything that's going on. I guess on. follow the traffic pattern, right? Yeah, so like if you're, if you're, on if you're yeah, if you're on the right side, then you know, follow the same way the cars are going. Yeah, like, that makes sense. Basically that. But she yeah. was going off, and the guys were basically they were paying no attention to her. They were just like, "I'm here to do my job. I don't know what the hell you want yeah. from me. I'm just trying to spray paint this yeah. walk, spray paint walk." Oh, do so my they job. were part. They, that was a job they were doing. That was a job okay. they were doing. Yeah, I, I saw one where. This family, and it's a video where they give you, like, the info beforehand. So, basically, this family went to a park because everyone's in quarantine. They want to enjoy the warm days. So, they're there barbecuing, doing their thing. They're playing Spanish music. And then this... I heard about this. Yeah, this Karen shows up. Yeah. And she's just like, how can you play that music? I don't want to hear that kind of music. Speak English. Speak English. Oh, my God. And mm. then... The the guy is funny as on the video. He's like, "You want to talk to the manager, Karen?" <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, he puts yeah, on blast. He broke the fourth wall. He broke the fourth yeah. wall with that one. And then she's just pissed. She's like, "No, I want you guys to leave and go back to your countries Holy and this and shit. that." And she said, "If Trump were here, he'd be thanking me because I'm doing my job and shit like that." I'm just like, "Yo, these people are insane." Yeah. But. I don't understand that. These people don't realize that when you're doing this, clearly you're there's being a, recorded. There's yeah. a phone in front of you, yeah. and you gotta be the all over the yeah. internet. Like, I wonder what their lives are like it's now. Not even, it's not even that, dude. Like, where is the culture? Like, why make a huge scene over it? There are ways of handling things. I mean, granted, this is dumb as hell that whatever argument she was trying to put, but like to just get overly upset over such trivial. Like, there are yeah. literally a billion other. Worst yeah, things. what can be trigger? What what can be bothering you so much about that? Yeah, just the irony is that these are the same people that are like, "Oh, this is a free country. I could do whatever the fuck I want," you know. And meanwhile, there's people doing what they want, not hurting anybody, you know, just literally playing music. Like, who cares, you know? Yeah. Um, it reminds me of one time where, um, there was like, uh, I I want to say it was like a mariachi band or something that set up outside Target, um, and it was so weird. Like and then so somebody came in and they were just like, "There's this band playing music really loud over there, and I think I'm gonna call the police." And I'm like, and I'm just like, "But what, what? was the con- <laughs> why did they do that? I have no idea. They just decided to set up in front of a target. I, I guess so. Right. Yeah, I, I have no idea what the context was, but like, but people were like scared, even though they were literally just playing music. <laughs> what do you mean people were scared? Like somebody, well, somebody was mean? threatening to call the police. Like, <laughs> like, like someone was in immediate danger. Yeah, but that doesn't mean they're scared. People call the police for noise complaints all the time. I guess, but I mean, it's a public area, you know. If if nobody in Target has a problem with it, then like, why is? But did they have a, a problem rent? with it? I don't know. I mean, that's the question you have to ask. Yeah, it's a good question. It's a good point. Next, there's no longer one person or a yeah. Karen. If they upset. were allowed to be there, yeah. then there's no problem. At I mean, all. they were they were there for a decent amount of time, so. Oh, then they were probably allowed to be there. Yeah, but you know, people, I guess, got to stick their noses in, and um. Yeah, because it was know. a mariachi band. There, it pissed? was like a mariachi band, I believe, or just in general. Like, yeah, but they, but they, they made a point to like state that it's a mariachi band and that they were like singing in Spanish. Like, so oh, really? I guess oh, wow. that kind of that kind of like gives like the implication, like okay, like maybe there's like some like other motive as to why they want to call yeah. the police. You know, when did this happen? Um, a couple years ago, I want to say. Man, these are the people that go to Cancun, and when their waiter gives them yeah. their food, they're like, "Gracias." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Literally. You know, they and, uh, try their hardest. Dude, it's so yeah, gross. It's, it's really something. It's hard to believe that we're in 2020, and like there's still insane amounts of racism. These people yeah. need to smoke weed. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's just people that smoke just, more than we. <laughs> it's just people that are pissed. 
this with their lives. They're just upset they need that something to bitch about. That this mm-hmm. country's not the same anymore in their eyes. But, but the like, same to th- compared to what? Yeah, like what do they compare it to? Through more shit <laughs> to, to when uh, to when social media didn't exist and they could turn a blind eye to all the atrocities get, happening. Yeah, because if you yeah. go back in history, it's just yeah. worse and worse and yeah. worse. So yeah, but at least then you could like remain ignorant to it. But now it's so like we see you everywhere. Yeah, that's why that slogan "Make America Great Again" makes no yeah. sense. Yeah, exactly. And I think it was um actually uh I saw something about this earlier today. Al Sharpton was uh, speaking at George Floyd's uh, service funeral service yeah and he was saying he was calling out the hypocrisy behind make america great again <laughs> everything's out there now yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah i mean it's a good thing though people are getting exposed at least i yeah. think that's the one good thing of trump's presidency that i feel in my mind like globally is that now we see mm-hmm. the chips are down the chips yeah. are all the way down <laughs> yeah and mm-hmm. it's out there now. It just makes you wonder, like, how these people will act going forward, you know, because Trump will not be president forever. Where do we go after and that? That's the truth. Did, did yeah. you guys see that um, Instagram Instagram clip of um, that one Trump supporter? Um, he was basically kneeling on some guy's neck. Oh, yeah. And, and he, he, he was happened? on his front porch, and people were driving by and recording him, and I guess that's the only reason why we know this, this exists, but... He was like, oh, I forget what he was saying. He was like white supremacy, and he was just screaming, and everyone mm. was cursing him out. And he was kneeling on, I, I guess, his friend's neck yeah. that was laying on the floor, trying to make fun of what happened to George Floyd. And it's just crazy. There's Trump signs everywhere and Confederate yeah. flags. It's yeah. just insane. Yeah, like, it's like you you know what side like those people are on. You know? Yeah, he was um, he was a corrections officer too. Yes, for New Jersey, yeah, like and, in South Jersey or something he got, like he got that. Fired. Yeah. So rightfully so because come on yeah you can't that's do that. crazy. I almost yeah. feel like these people like they just do it to piss off other people. Yeah, but they mm-hmm. don't understand what's going on. <laughs> like you're gonna get you're gonna lose yeah, your job. Like, if well, you, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, what yeah, did he yeah. think was gonna happen? Yeah, no, of course, of course, he knew what he was doing, and, and it's that's not... why he did it to upset, I guess, people that are more sensitive or or whatever his views are on the issue. He just wants to. I guess whatever he may feel his side is less uh, noticed or something. I'm not trying to defend the guy, but I'm just saying this guy is taking again little things, just trying to explode it. But he didn't have to kneel on the guy's yeah. no, no, yeah, he didn't that, have to do any of that. That shit. was crazy. Um, it's like it's like the internet trolls. Yeah. Like when when you say something, you just have a hive mind of yeah, people attacking yeah. you. I feel it's like there's just people that are pissed and just trying to. Yeah. Well, there's definitely the, people do going against it because so many people are going the other way. Yeah, yeah. just fucking sheep that are following yeah. these crazy trends. And it just really makes you wonder, like, like, who is this guy and, like, what has he done before this, you know? Cause, well, that's where the like, story is. Yeah. Yeah. That's where things get wild because when they look into these people's past, there's yeah. always, they always pull up all the dirt and it's always bad stuff. You know, and it's like, it's like people are like, oh, um, so-and-so... Um, it was okay that they died because they had a, a marijuana offense 20 years ago, you know, but like then, you know, they don't care about yeah these people and like yeah. and all the pro- fucked up shit they've probably done. You know, maybe they didn't break any laws, so to speak, but they've done things that are just so wrong. And it, it like, sucks for like the Trump supporters that that obviously w- aren't racist or crazy. Yeah. And it, like they they're they're made to look bad because of all these people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're definitely grouped as a small minority, and I think with everything yeah. that's going on, like the groups always get get I guess stereotyped by the small crazy minority. Yeah, and you know, it, yeah, it's like yep. like for example, like you know, you could be the like the protesters. You'll be, I'm guarantee, most of them are all peaceful protesters, but for whatever reason, they love to group them in with the looters, the people that are mm-hmm. destroying that. Are, you know, and same thing with cops. I guarantee you most of the cops are probably um are no, I probably are definitely, you know, agreeing that yeah, what happened to George Floyd was fucked up. But for whatever reason they get grouped in with the small minority that and, uh, yeah, you know exactly yep. that that mm-hmm. abuses their their position of power. So how do you guys feel about the whole idea that Minnesota just voted to disband their police? Nah, I don't think we should um, be doing that. How is that going to work exactly? I have to, I, yeah, well, like what exactly did that mean? If you know, so basically, uh, they're trying to follow. I think the um, the blueprint of what Camden did. Okay. So Camden, New Jersey. Oh, yeah, how, they disbanded their police in 2014. How Camden, how Camden has, um, I believe, it's either county sheriff or like state police. So right? it's they basically they disbanded their police department, and what they ended up doing was they 
changed the the name of the police station to a county. So it's basically run by the county now, and they um, they have all these laws that they put into place that basically in, in, enforces community guidelines. So every time you're hired in Camden, you have to knock on doors and you introduce yourself, and it's a good thing. Uh, they ended up hiring back a hundred of their police officers that were, I guess, they deemed good. Wait, what do you mean you mm. have to knock on doors? You, you're basically they integrate you into the community, so you have to meet the community. I don't know how many new doors they have to knock on or where they actually have to go, but the, but everything's very community orientated, which is good. It should be like that. Okay. Um, but the thing is, it it, it worked in Camden. They're they're saying that crime uh, rate went down ninety something percent since that happened. But here's the thing, Minnesota is like six times more popular than Camden, New Jersey. So Well, yeah, Minnesota's a state compared to the well, city well, of Camden. Yeah. Well, well, no, no. Isn't it just Minneapolis? I don't know. I'm, I'm an idiot. It's, just, it's yeah. just a city, yeah. Wait, what did I say, Minnesota? Yeah. Oh, whoops. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, so, the, yeah, but they're going against the mayor, too. Like, from what I've been hearing, because, yeah, it's very, it, it does seem very open and, like, up for grabs. It feels like one is to just take money, like, I guess give police less funding, and then the other side is like just completely get rid of them. Yeah, but give, and I don't know. Uh, give yeah. police less funding. What does that mean? What does that mean? Like, does that mean the, not pay them as much, or does that mean like how do you? What do you mean by by like the defund taxes the police? that go to them? I guess um d- divers that money towards I guess schools or towards the community something. Or they, or or they could, could prioritize more things. Maybe instead of paying. An officer that gets suspended, you know, they could use that money for something else because they need it. Yeah, but the problem with that is you're going against unions. There's mm. unions and laws yeah. you're breaking. Well, like, they're, they're still workers. They're still going the against unions with that because, I mean, a good point. who's going to be the first one to to step up for the police if, he, uh, if they lose um, finance? And why can't they just defund the military then? Why can't they just cut the military fund in half? Well, that's what Bernie's trying to do. Right? Well, the that's, military well, that's fund more of a federal is so decision. bloated. Yeah. No, I know, but but pe- all these people that are saying defund the police, they should be putting some energy into defunding the military as well because that's where all the money is. If they want to yeah. put money towards things, if yeah. that's the reason why they want to defund the police, that's yeah, that, then they should be looking that's, elsewhere. That's definitely a whole other topic. From what I was reading, and I think like the gist of the, this whole concept is, the idea is instead of having police as the problem solvers for everything, have dedicated departments solving problems. For example, domestic abuse, for um, drug issues, for um, you know whatever civil disputes. Like have specific departments or specific people trained to handle those things instead of just having the police do, do everything. everything. Yeah. yeah, and this goes back kind of to the Karen conversation. Okay, this guy's playing loud music. What did she do? call the police and expect the police to handle it yeah they don't so, want to deal with that shit yeah and the police aren't really trained for that that's that's the the whole concept the police aren't really trained for for dealing with all these situations and they vary greatly like and all situ- two situations are, are the same i would imagine so that's the idea is to kind of break that up whereas the police is the be all end all solution and i guess divide that into i guess different departments or sectors or group of people that'll that'll uh, handle that and that way you lower crime because it's specifically taken care of based on the situation that's kind of the the gist of what i'm reading um that's a good idea i'm down with that Hmm. come up with a plan yeah which makes sense i mean i I think it's definitely a a way to reform the way of thinking because yeah yeah reform yeah so and reforming the police is basically what you just said which is perfect yeah Yeah, i don't think you can't get rid rid of of it would lead to disaster yeah my biggest thing about getting rid of police is what i feel will happen is it will become privatized yeah and who will be able to afford mostly the private that'll be a shit show yeah the elites yeah they're gonna be like we're gonna go we're gonna go back there and we're gonna come up with a plan (laughs) and in 45 days (laughs) (laughs) well no then you'd have to pay for the police yeah you have to pay for the police 911 yeah uh what's your credit card number yeah all right it's it's like cable Ugh. service for cops. Well, <laughs> it's like it's like um it's like the streaming apps. You know you need. Oh no! Yeah. You, know? <laughs> you have a subscription. You have a, you have a police monthly app. fee. <laughs> you have a police app. And you could I get pay an extra twenty five. That, yeah, that's the premium. You could get police without ads. Like yeah. they show <laughs> off, but they'll be like, by the way, did you know you could get like five percent off your Domino's? <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine like instead of the sirens, it's just like a ad. Yeah. <laughs> like you know, sign up for Udemy for your free online courses. <laughs> it's like that Black Mirror episode where they force you to look at the ad. Oh, so like yeah. they break they break yeah. the door down and you have to stare at the TV for thirty seconds before you do anything. Before, yeah, before, <laughs> and then, like, like you're bleeding to death and it doesn't do with a gun on you and you just have to hear, you know, uh, 
Are you a little alone? Come uh, visit us at Jolly Rogers Ranch or some shit like that. <laughs> Imagine the, the future... squad cars look like NASCAR yeah. cars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, sponsors. It's a shit. <laughs> um, imagine a future where th- there are robots doing this, and they just don't turn on until you look at the ad or until you meet the threshold of payment. It's YouTube's dream. <laughs> so you pay before you get your service? Yeah. Damn, but that would suck because, like, let's say... I don't know, you only pay for the basic package and the job requires more than that. Like, they only do 10% of the work and then shut off. Yeah. That's how that <laughs> would be fucking nuts. We can only save two family members, not three. Oh, <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah. That's fucked up. Yeah, that, that... I can't see a future where that would fly. That... What if someone invents ad blocker for that? Dude, that this is like this is like um you could just download the police. <laughs> so this, I don't is, even know. this is capitalism 100%. Like that would be a capitalistic society with no, nothing else but capitalism. That's literally a Black Mirror episode it is. 100%. Like like and that, we're that's and, every and, man for themselves. And we will sue you if you make it. <laughs> we oh <my> will. <laughs> yeah, get up the patent papers. Yeah. Man. Um but I don't know. I mean, I think, again, the, this whole defund the police is still seems very up in the air. And have they said exactly what they're doing in, in uh, they Minneapolis? No they have no idea what they're idea. doing. So they just said, oh, we're going to defund police. And the, half crazy. of the people think online that that means take uh, demilitarize them. So no more armored cars, no more um, machine guns or whatever they have for uh, no more high tech um, weaponry. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how that would really help. But that's one call. The other call is just to spam them police, uh, completely. That's so weird. So, and, and but they made legislation, like they made laws no, on this. They, or they no, just said they're the council, the council just voted to disband them. There's no explanation of what that means. Yeah, that that's so. Up in I here. think they need to just reinvent their hiring process and make sure they get, you know, because the guy was hired with prior convictions. They need to make sure they hire people with no that convictions. Happen? Yeah, like, like how how did that they can't fly? let hirings like that happen? They gotta hire people that are clean, that have good intentions, that pass like. You think that would be common sense, though? Psychological tests and shit like that. You got to go through all these tests and these educational things to become a police yeah. officer. That's what I feel. They got to focus more on like, the hiring process and the educating. But it just shows how deep that goes. Like, how, how high up did that go where they just kind of turned a blind, a blind eye to yeah. whatever past, you know? And think of all the, like, the precincts in, like, the country. Like, it's so many that they would have to, like, make sure are following these guidelines you know, it's, it's going to take a while. It would take a while. It's going to take a long time. Yeah, I'm not saying it's not possible, but it's definitely going to be tough. It's going to take a while. Especially to make sure everyone's, you know, kind of doing the right thing. You got to, they'd have to weed out all the bad cops too. Yeah. That'd be hard. Yeah. How would you know? Because then that, that comes out like, does that go to the federal government to do yeah. that one by one? Like kind of keep tabs on each state or like yeah. do each state kind of promise to meet a threshold? Like, Well, a there certain- should be well, an independent investigation. Anytime a cop kills somebody, so yeah. it would have to be the federal government. Yeah, then. because if if the town or the city is going to do it, you how can you how can you honestly trust that? You you can't honestly trust that, mm-hmm. or at least do it on state level. Federal might be a little too much. But I don't like state either, though. I don't know how I feel about that. Hmm. I guess it's hard. Like certain states too many be more corrupt than others. Yeah, but, but then you go up to federal and like they're still corrupt. So it's like everyone's it's hard. corrupt. Yeah, it's all bullshit. You know, it, it's yeah. hard because yeah, like, and it can't be political either. I guess at yeah. least with federal, like they. It doesn't change as long. That could be a, a defect well. At federal, too. there's less connections. That's the whole thing there. Hmm. Like the governor knows the the mayors, or they have dinner together, or they know councilmen. So it's fair. I feel like just just got that out completely. Don't even have that from the get go. Yeah. Okay. I got one. So yesterday was uh, Georgia's uh, primary election, and they showed George two, uh, Georgia. Oh. Oh. Um, Georgia's primary election, and um. Yeah. Pretty much, I was seeing several pictures, you know, of one set, one one area that was, you know, a, typically a very conservative area with just, like, just you could walk right in, whatever, and then you know the bigger cities, more liberal areas, just lines, like like lines, like literally looked like it looked like it was a protest. That's how big the line was. Did any of the results then change anything? Like, did did any of the? Because basically, what you're saying is a lot more liberal. There's a lot more liberal voters, so you would assume that... There's been results changing in states, like lower positions. Mm-hmm. Right, did any seats flip? Oh, I, I don't know. I, didn't I see heard any results, in the, but... the June 2nd one, there were, there were uh, I think, two seats that flipped yeah. from uh, Republican to Democrat. And it's like giving insight on, on kind of the landscape. Yeah. But where uh, was that? November. 
don't remember. There's also, I believe, in Kentucky where this guy that's getting pushed heavily by I a got, Bernie. Uh, yeah, Booker. I got a text from it too. Yeah, and and in Kentucky, oh, is it Kentucky. for a McConnell seat? Um, I don't because I know his no. is up for grabs, and uh, I think Yang's um, his thing, Humanity First, endorsed him. Hmm. I feel like a big thing about what you're saying is who I don't know. I don't know if what was what elections were going on, but I could imagine a big reason why the inner city um, had such long lines was because of the higher population density probably yeah. compared to the other area. But then they, like but if, then they should accommodate that and have you know like more locations for voting. They should. Yeah, yeah, yeah but they, but they, they but they don't on purpose. That's voter suppression. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but they don't on purpose, and that's kind of like that's kind of what I was going up. at, and you know, we we see it happening like They're a lot. I mean, way. I've never had trouble voting. You know, it's always been in and out for me. But we live in a small town. Um, um, it's pretty populated. Yeah, this is one of this area is very densely populated. Uh, it's just, or maybe we just don't have a lot of people voting. We have a in lot town. of voting uh, polling lo- ah, voting locations. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, like they're they're all over the place. So that probably explains why they split it up Co- to the district. Yeah. But you know, it's how many people live in in like our district, for example. Um, probably like maybe a thousand or a couple thousand. Yeah, but it's like four, no. what was it, like five blocks. Just in the town is like <laughs> yeah, 15, our town's people. tiny. Yeah. 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 We have mad people. In yeah, here. so it's less than a square mile. I don't know. Like, yeah, fifteen thousand people in less than a square mile. Like that's mad heads. It's just it priorities. But I think yeah. people are starting to realize like. It's not just vote president, like vote for people. Vote down the uh, ballot. Yeah. Like yeah, actually look at who important. you're voting for, you know? That's definitely very important. People are learning more that local elections matter. As as it was once said. The legend says. <laughs> yeah. The legend say. I, I I saw like this one tweet and it was like this is the practice run for November. But I guess it makes sense because of like, this whole coronavirus stuff. Like that's yeah. a game changer. Yeah. Cuz I know they're pushing a, a lot for um the mail-in. mail-in voting, which you know has its things too. So I guess it, I I guess it, it maybe I mean who knows they could have been like that last year too or when last time that place had an election. But I could imagine they're testing out new ways to uh yeah. to get people to vote, even though it doesn't seem successful if it's so many yeah. lines. And but you, you know, know it's kind of weird how we don't have a system in place for that. Yeah, who? it seems so simple like overall for mail-in voting. They they're making such yeah. a big deal about it. Well, I, I mean, I, you know why? I know. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> you got <laughs> control as much as you can. If they listen, if if there was a way to have mail in voting and and not be rigged, then do it. Especially now. Or, yeah, but or not how? even like just well, like. Well, that's the question. How? Like <laughs> online yeah. voting. Come on, they, I mean, they they that have could to be. It's gonna get hacked. Yeah. Or the hacked. app is gonna fuck up. How these many? people the do this for the. Th- these people have been doing this for their whole entire life. They can't figure out a system. Of course, they it's can. not one person. They just don't want thousands to. Thousands and thousands of people. Yeah, they don't want to. Or I guess they feel like the old way works so well in their eyes that why fix it? Yeah, yeah but why, why risk it? so many people? We don't have a cure for coronavirus. We don't have a vaccine. Yeah, but it was not like anyone saw coronavirus being a thing. Yeah, but they still they're still pushing people to vote. They're still pushing people to stand on lines. It's so yeah, weird. Yeah, that's not that's not good. Yeah. It's like nobody gives a shit. It's just just get the vote out. Get the vote. Vote for me. That's it. And then the irony is, you know, like Trump voted by mail, you know. Trump voted by mail. I believe so. No yeah. way. Yeah, in 2016. isn't he like? Oh, I'll snap. Yeah. He's he's so against it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but that's, that's, that's up, Trump. He straight man. up said that it will be the end of the Republican Party. No, like that's Trump. Though. Like he... how like little self awareness do you have that you're clearly saying that like you'll lose if vote, you know, if you go vote by mail. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's gonna it's lose. Crazy. Regardless. Um, you think he's gonna lose? Yeah, I saw I that feel like, like he is. uh like top tier, I guess you could say Republicans have been backing Joe Biden. Like George Bush and Mitt Romney and some general that just yeah. decided I don't, to come out. I, yeah. don't, I don't know. I don't think that really has as much pulls as know. you think. Never know. Just remember how quick the Democratic uh nomination changed within a day. We still have like what six months till the general. Yeah, yeah like, we so go many things can debates. happen. We gotta go through um, so if many there's gonna things. be a second wave of coronavirus. What's really happening with the economy? Because we have no idea right yeah. now. And then once it, it's literally pitted, Joe Biden versus uh, Donald Trump, how that's gonna go? Like, yeah, that, yeah. How's that debate even gonna pan out? Are they, they even gonna high? have that debate? Are they even gonna have that if they don't? Like, what what repercussions come if out? That's of that? the best case scenario for Biden if they don't have the debate. Oh yeah, they're, yeah. They're, oh wow. Yeah. They good definitely want to keep them. It's a good point. You know, if, if, away if there's from a talking. as much as they can. If there's a legal way to not have the debate, his team should be on it now. They should be. Going at it 100%. Because he's just going to embarrass himself. 
Yeah, it's gonna be rough. He yeah. had one good debate, and that was against Bernie, when it was just him v uh, Bernie v Biden. That yeah. was it. Yeah. For some reason, he was awoke and he had a lot to say, and it was really weird. Well, there's probably not gonna be an audience for the debate, and no, I, mean, I think I think there will be. Because when when are we gonna have a debate? Probably well, August. They they already opened up New Jersey. They opened up a lot of states. Yeah, but we have to see how if, shit pans yeah, out. Yeah, if there is a second wave, then that ain't happening. I, I think. I think there's going to be an audience. I just think it's going to be a smaller audience. Or it's just, probably going to be like, like a media a, or like a socially distanced audience. Yeah, because if, if they're going to have sports going, true. Uh, why wouldn't they have people in the crowd for the debate? I mean, worst case scenario, they could just have a, a televised debate yeah. like they did when it was uh, Joe versus. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. It was actually better because you didn't have the, the you didn't crowd. have people screaming. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I feel like Trump will. I don't know. Like if he's not putting on a show for anybody, like. He needs to. He, he works he the crowd. You know? yeah. Yeah. So, you know, so I feel like thing. that will definitely like kind of fuck with him a little bit. So it'll be very interesting if that's the case. Because you'll hear what he says and you'll just hear crickets and you'll be like, "That's kind of fucked up." <laughs> yeah. Like you won't think it's Honestly, funny because yeah. you'll hear people laughing, but you'll be like, "That's fucked up." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it depends on who they fill the crowds with too. With I don't know. Yeah, because if it's if he's gonna get booed every five seconds, it's gonna be um, like he's gonna it's gonna hurt him. Use a that. Bit. He's gonna use that. And be like, oh, they set it up with these people. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Of them. Like, yeah, it's gonna be like that. Uh, that Nixon. Uh, that Nixon debate where um he uh you just look like shit. It was. The, I think it was the first televised debate. Yeah, and he looked like, <laughs> and, he, and he and he just he was just a, a wreck the whole yeah. time. Like he didn't um, and oh, I guess he was against JFK, right? Yeah, he was sweating. Yeah, and, yeah. Oh man, he was shook. Yeah. Wasn't it Reagan? Um, Cause, no, because Reagan Wait. was because Reagan was an actor beforehand, so he knew how to kind of like fix himself up for a TV. No, it was Kennedy. It was, I Kennedy? Think it was Kennedy. Yeah, yeah, because this was like when Nixon tried to run the first time, I believe, in oh, wow. I think 1960. I want to say I don't, I don't know. Um, it, it, it must be 1960 because JFK went in that year. But was he a beast president? I just know he was young. Kennedy? Yeah. And he wasn't really like the religious kind of guy either. Well, he was Catholic. He was the first Catholic president. Yeah. Well, he was heavily pushing Medicare for all. Mm -hmm. And yeah. he had a very liberal um, Mindset, Southern Democrat right? as his um, running mate um, in LBJ. LeBron James. <laughs> <laughs> the original. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, Lyndon Johnson. Um, to, you know how that panned out. Vietnam and all that Lyndon stuff, Johnson so. sent us to Vietnam. Yeah. And that sucked, right? Mm -hmm. Damn. But he didn't admit that we lost. He just admitted that we pulled out or something. Yeah. That's, Dude, a, that's the same shit as Dick Cheney sending us to Iraq. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, we're was still wild. in it. That... What if? And it's longer, right? That This has definitely lasted longer than Vietnam, right? Yeah. I feel like for yep. sure. Yeah. But we Vietnam got was like seven something years, point. something like that. Oh, yeah, we outclassed I don't know that. the stats. I don't know all the stats for yeah. now, but Vietnam was bloody. Vietnam mm -hmm. was a shit show. Yep. I guess that's the main difference is... We don't have as many um, on the ground troops as Vietnam did. Because yeah, everything here not. is a uh, drone. That's probably why they're doing it all through strikes. What if they just, like, someone hacked all the system and you pressed the button to shoot a fucking missile and it just didn't happen? <laughs> You know? Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? It didn't happen. Yeah, like you press the button to shoot a missile, like the oh, big like fat red button, <laughs> and it just it doesn't work anymore. No, and, like, fucking, and then it error. goes off randomly, like <laughs> a, like a week later. No, that 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 shit's wired. There's yeah. no like connection. That shit is wired. It'd be very hard to to pull something off like that. Yeah. Man, imagine like yeah, it has to be connected. <laughs> the button's got to be connected to Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's lagging. <laughs> yeah. You need a subscription. Ad comes you need, up. Yeah, you need <laughs> a subscription. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Verizon throttles the the, the the speed so it doesn't go quick. You press the button and there's an ad <laughs> to upgrade your membership. <laughs> Dude, you oh, know what man. I was reading? So this document came out of, of the Pentagon. Uh, creating this game called the uh, the joint air, land and sea like security uh, s protocol something like that, where they put a game and a and uh, a scenario, uh, in the mid twenty twenties of all the millennials and Gen Cs rising up, um, and rebelling, and they call it the Z Bellion. What? Damn. And basically, what they would do is. They would find people to like hack into uh big corporations uh like bank accounts and stuff, steal the money, turn it into Bitcoin, and they redistribute it to the communities because they were just pissed of all like you know all this kind of like corporate control of of all the 
all the all the I guess effects from like the recession, from coronavirus, from everything. Well, not coronavirus because it wasn't in the paper. So like, they made it into a game where they would play at like these universities that the uh, that like props up future military uh, generals and stuff like that, and how to kind of quell these type of rebellions, so people uh, so they can get that type of um, I guess Robin Hood scenario under control. That's genius. It's mm-hmm. kind of scary. It's scary. And they're wow. talking about how it starts with like protests and people kind of coming out in like major cities like Seattle, Washington, New York. And then it spreads all throughout the, the world fuck? to the point where like all the anyone from millennial and under joins into this kind of like, I guess, anonymous group and steals from big corporations and distributes the money through Bitcoin. They know it's possible. Yeah. Like when you think about it, like, that can really happen That's, anytime now. And they, they were projecting through like 20, 28, like, ten, like almost 10 years from now that this could be a real possibility or in the scenario. If they think that's a scenario, then why, can't, why don't they do something to prevent that instead of trying to figure out how to stop that? I'm like, mm-hmm. well, like, dude, like they have a contingency plan for like literally people rising up. And, and who's, but who's playing this? Um, it's universities. From what I understood, it was universities uh, that specialize in like creating future military generals. What? For the Pentagon. Yeah, that so, exists. Like, yeah, dude, there's a McDonald's University. I mean, that's <laughs> kind of stupid too. What 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 does the McDonald's University entail? Is it, is it just the name of a university? It's a university by McDonald's where they prop up their future like chefs, the future like people like, that will run the company. Like yeah, but is it specific to McDonald's or yeah, do yeah, they yeah. McDonald's owns and runs it and. Their universe is literally based for people who want a future in the company. Okay, come on. So you never went to McDonald's University when you went to work at McDonald's no, for a day, right? No. This university is so crazy because, like, it's so hard to get into. Like, it's hard to get into McDonald's University than it's to get into Harvard. Yeah, like, I just, but I just can't. What do you? What do they teaching you that you're not going to learn when dude. you go to McDonald's and work? There? Maybe you had you no, go but and it's find not. Out, it's not dude. working in the like. As a cashier or a flipping like it's corporate to, stuff. Work, to oh, run like, the company. Like oh, yeah, because yeah, 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 McDonald's, okay. McDonald's is franchise-based, so I guess it teaches you essentially how to... Like marketing? Yeah, like how, to, how to run a McDonald's, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, from like going Dude, up through the corporate ladder. Uh, do you, do you, can you graduate with a degree in something? You, can, you, you probably can't, can, But yeah. the point is, it's not about graduating a degree and you can go to whatever. Like, you're... You you're literally dedicating your life to McDonald's. So they're paying. So basically, you're paying them to teach you how to run a McDonald's, basically, mm-hmm. or, or something else. Yeah, yeah. It's like or with anywhere within the McDonald's corporate ladder. It's like social media. Yeah, social media to like CEOs and shit of different marketing press. Yeah, but why would it be specific to McDonald's? That's stupid. Because McDonald's got power like that, you know. The answer is because they dumb. can. Because they can. <laughs> yeah. Well, you should just go to a regular college. Because the, nah, but... the thing is, I guess companies like that they love. Having people within who know the culture and I guess being exclusive like that. Yeah, but the question is: is are any of your assets? Do they go past McDonald's? Like, if I do that, if I did this and then I got to the end of it, can I? Do I have to? Does I have to be involved with McDonald's? Like, do my certifications or diplomas or whatever I'm getting? Can they go to other places? Can I go to other companies? Like Burger King sure or no, Wendy's? No, it doesn't have to be fast food. <laughs> 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 you just well, snitch. I, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. Um, I mean, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't, I don't see why not. I mean, it's, it's. I, it, there has to be, a, there has to be a second use case for your credentials. But well, the way if it's just I, McDonald's, I don't see that being worth it. The way I look at it is that if you're going to McDonald's University, you have an idea that you want to work for McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, yeah but not you just point. go to any other university. That's the point. Is like you, I guess you may have family or people in there that are already working there, and they're like, all right, well, if you want to continue, you know. A future in this company, you're secured with that if you get into this university. Wait, how long is this? Do you know how long the it's school like is? Real university. Yeah, I would. Yeah, but what if you don't want to? What if you go through this and you want nothing to do with McDonald's? Well, then tough. That's tough. Yeah, well, that happens to everyone. Yeah, yeah, anyway. like, like, yeah, at least you have a minor to fall back on. It doesn't work like that. No, <laughs> school's rough. They dude. lied to you. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to finish. <laughs> Shit's all. Do, do you think a McDonald's Damn. university has uh, like sports teams and then uh, like uh, like that would be awesome? Like dorms. Yeah, they, they do they have, have like frat like frats and like sor- frat and, 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 yeah and sororities? <laughs> do that be beast. And like, do you think their, their mascot is Ronald McDonald yeah. or like <laughs> hamburger? Or, yeah, or grimace. <laughs> Man. There's definitely like a Ronald McDonald like quote like in the main like building. <laughs> Fucking grimace. Eat this shit, <laughs> <laughs> bitch. 
<laughs> I, yo, I can imagine that yo. shit being like Hogwarts, like your, oh your house McDonald's, <laughs> your house hamburger, house uh, Grimace, and like you get points and lose points based on like your academic. Um, Who are the other characters? Um, I forget the girl, the duck. She was like a duck, She's right? Like a yeah. duckling. And then there's like a pink character and a green character. I think. Yeah, there were a few of them. I don't remember all of them. I just but remember they're, they're low tier. Characters. Yeah, <laughs> everyone <laughs> only really remembers Grimace and uh, the Hamburglar. Really, that's like Hufflepuff. And, like no yeah. one cares Ronald about McDonald's. them. <laughs> but like, man, McDonald's has changed so much over the years. When you think about it. Is, they yeah. used to have. The remember time. how they used to have like the party rooms and stuff like that? Yeah. And some of them would even have like video games set up, like N sixty four, like inside the McDonald's, like. It's crazy they're, how much they're it's changed. They're classy now. They're well, now they have Wi Fi, so I guess you could still kind of game yeah, but in there. What you know? about all the toys they used to give out? Like the really good toys. Hmm. They used to give you um, collectible cups. Yeah. Now everything is just fucking trash. Because nobody wants like toys. generic ass shit. Kids want. Kids want toys. Kids want Fortnite. That's what they want. Yeah. 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 They just got to give away V Bucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they even used to do uh, promotions where you'd buy, like, a, if you got, like, a medium. Or large drink, extra large drink, you would get those peel offs and you get free shit every time you did it. Like the Monopoly. Oh, the Monopoly oh. show was yeah, 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 it was basically Monopoly, but it wasn't Monopoly. Yeah. Um, but you didn't always win something with Monopoly, did you? No. This one, you always won something. I think the smallest thing you got was like a four piece chicken nugget. But you always got free food. Wait, you wouldn't get that with, with the Monopoly one too? Like, like I free you always had Monopoly. Yeah, and you would have more, like, they would give you more based on, like, the bigger size of your... Yeah. yeah. If, you got the, if you settle for the large instead of the medium, you'll probably get two uh, peel-offs instead of one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Burger King was good with that. Yeah. Oh, they had that too. Yeah. Well, Burger King had, I remember uh, vividly, uh, they, I think it was maybe when the first Spider-Man movie with Tobey Maguire came out, and they had uh, this, um, this peel-off... But when you peeled it off, it had two um two things to scratch, and you can only scratch one. Oh shit! Oh, so it was kind of like, damn, like, and so you would scratch one, and then you know, winner or not winner, right? And so like, imagine if like it was like the grand prize in that, and you scratched off the wrong one, because if you scratched both, it it was invalid. I feel like I remember oh, something man. like that. So that would really suck just thinking about that. So if you accidentally scratched both because you didn't know, you didn't realize or you just didn't care. Or yeah, that too. Shit. But yeah, it was one of those things. But damn. But nah, I feel like if you were, if it was a grand prize, you don't think they would they would I... take it. You really think they would say no? I don't know. Mm. Well, I don't think that franchise would have to pay. I think like the company would have to pay. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if McDonald's is a, is a. I mean, Burger no, King that's is a definitely franchise. All, that's um, definitely all corporate stuff. Yeah, like the corporate. Yeah, like if they're giving, pay. if you're winning the little things like a free meal or a free whatever, they'll give it. Obviously, the place you bring it to has to give it. But. You think they do some scheming shit where they're like, "Oh, we can't pay you, but we'll put you in the commercial as the winner." So you know like you're getting paid no. to be on TV. You think they do that? I don't know, dude. That's so fucked up. They'll scheme it some way. They'll be like, "We'll pay you half, and the second half you get to be on TV." Well, dude, but people could still could say no. But some guys are probably like, "Oh my god, I'm gonna be on TV." No, I don't. I don't know about that. People want like, the glory of like national television, saying when the you're f- a winner. Yeah, but when do you ever see that on TV? <laughs> Yeah, it's not like TV is a big thing anymore. Yeah, they, yeah, they well, might like, play it on like a lo- local news station for like a half a minute. Yeah, well, they, they'll be like, oh, the scratch offs are back. Just ask our former winner, Jeff. And Jeff. There's a picture of him <laughs> smiling with his family. Like, they don't, they don't even show the um, the Powerball winners unless it's like some like interesting story. Well, in New Jersey, or a big amount. You have to say. You, no, they no. changed it. You can you can be anonymous now in New Jersey. Yeah, nice. You should be able to stay anonymous. Yeah, should, because yeah, why do you ha- why do you have to know? Why do they have to know your name? For a very long time it was it was not that way. But robbed. now but now they changed it's, it. It's it's not that. It's like people that know you know you just want all this money. What if you don't want to tell anybody you won this money? Exactly. Well, I don't want to tell. If I want that like you money, can live I'm your life normally anyone, just yeah. having less like that's why you should change. Like that. I don't want my name to be public. Yeah, People I wouldn't want be that either. Coming to me and be like, yeah, it would be money. very annoying. So that's kind of the burden of it. But um, it's no longer like that in New Jersey. And so how I, is it now? Now you can remain anonymous if you choose to. It's your choice. But it was never you never had that choice in in the in, you know prior years. You had to you had to put your name out there. You had to. Well, when you win, when you win the Powerball, yeah. You know, let me know. I never played. Yeah, would you guys you tell play if more you than won? me? I've never played that. Did you play when it was like at eight billion? Um, well, like when, I it hit, when it hit the billions? I might have just split it with a few coworkers. Those honestly. games are so hard. Like you're just not it's, gonna. It's, ever astro- play. it's astronomical <laughs> odds. Yeah, it's like, come on. Like it's like a bitch. seven, um, seventy numbers. Like oh my god, like Dude, that's insane. The, the stories that 70 people numbers? seventy numbers. Shit. Like the odds of having the exact combination is just. What what game is that? That's um, the Powerball. I think so. Yeah. Or 
Yeah. What's the one where it's like six numbers? Um, six numbers. Pick six. Oh. Yeah. The the store is all these people that buy like twenty thousand dollars worth of of different number combinations, or like mm-hmm. a company will go in and buy like fifty thousand dollars worth of all these different combinations. Just you to don't see need if, to win that shit, like. You imagine, just drop but imagine fifty thousand dollars. You like you're you putting so much that, money that much. into it, and it's like. But does that even increase your chances of winning? Yeah, but well, because you have more lot. numbers. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. it's 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 too big of a number. It's it's too much because you got to factor in okay five numbers between one and seventy, right? And then after that, you have to worry about the mega ball, and you can't win the jackpot without the mega ball. Yeah, and you can't win the jackpot without the mega ball. So like, you have, so whatever like seventy. What the exclamation point is, right? Um, yeah. whatever, whatever astronomically <laughs> high number that is, plus another number between one and twenty-five. Oh, that's a, that's so <laughs> you have to factor in Come both on. of those. So the odds are just astronomical. Astronomical. Yeah, people win, and they do. Yeah, people win. Shit. Hopefully, so me. It's, it's crazy. No, I'll stick to my scratch offs. <laughs> <laughs> You're better off with that, but quick but hits, there's quick but there's little hits. But there's a meta game with the scratch offs. Oh too. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm, I, but I'm sure you know about before. that. Yeah. yeah. You know those mm-hmm. scratch offs are like a hundred, fifteen hundred for life aren't actually for life. It, they're twenty five years. Or yeah. Something oh, like really? That. Yeah. Are you sure? In about the that? back, cash for, cash it for says, life is twenty five or thirty years. It's I like twenty five years, or until you hit the limit of one million or whatever mm-hmm. the set price. Well, is. you can that with those you can pull out your money in one check. Yes, but the, but you get you alive hard. with taxes. Yeah. yeah. But I feel like it's better in the long run. You make less money too, though. Yeah. Like a lot less money. Every every game is like that. Every every um lotto game gives you the option of a lump sum payout or um annuity payout, which is you know gradual. It depends on how much you win. Yeah. If you win a buttload, then just have it pay out annually. You could. Now, do they give you your do it, do you get an initial payment or do you have to wait a year? Because that's torture. Imagine that. Um, I I don't know how that works. I know some or like you gotta wait after the next like quarter or some shit like uh, that I, yeah. well that's not as bad but imagine you just won 300 million dollars and it's like okay we're gonna start giving it to you next year and then it's a like, year right. passes and they're like oh sorry man <laughs> we went we're, we're in a recession <laughs> you, yeah you needed like a surgery Economy's you didn't have the down. money for it <laughs> yeah. dude so did you guys see the terry cruz quote what do you say he said something. I don't see it. People got pissed as hell. Terry Crews. Terry you Cruz. can't get mad at Terry Crews. That's what I thought. But what do you say, though? I need to hear what he says so, first. Just pull that shit up. He went on Twitter and he said, "Defeating white supremacy without white people creates black supremacy. Equality is the truth. Like it or not, we're all in this together." Repeat it one more time. So he said, "Defeating white supremacy without white people creates black supremacy. Equality is the truth. Like it or not, we're all in this together." I've read that that somewhere else too. That's not just him. I don't know. He apparently he tweeted it. He could have. He's basically saying that it's it's either one way or the other. If you do that, it's either white supremacy or black supremacy. Which, well, I I kind of get what he's saying. Yeah, but he said that, but but I but you see the opposite in the street. Like you see plenty of white people yeah. joining forces. I think so I feel like of... that there was no reason for him to say that because like yeah, but people are it's saying it's not like that white people are just a... being like, oh, this is a black thing. I'm going to stay out of it. They're not like yeah. there's plenty a lot of, of white people are involved. There's a lot of people saying that like black people are saying, oh, white people don't fight our fight for us. Because that's white supremacy. So there's people taking that approach too. There's a lot of different. There's sizes. a lot of approaches. Yeah. I kind of took it like a, it's not white versus black. It's like wrong versus right. You know, like because there's white people, and there's white supremacists. You know, I think yeah. they're different kinds the, of people. The people fighting for the cause shouldn't be put into into blocks. I think it should just be okay. These are the people fighting for the cause. Um, they shouldn't. They shouldn't be labeled like they shouldn't. Uh, separate them by race. I guess it makes too, sense too, because when you put it that way, it, it becomes something like sports teams, like yeah. Team A versus Team B, and that's like this thing is bigger than just a, a you know sports game. Mm-hmm. It's humanity trying to correct the you wrongs. know the wrongs of the past, pretty much. I guess he's trying to say it to to kind of quell this kind of I guess people that just immediately hate on white people because they're white. That we need each other to combat this this idea that you know black people are bad. Yeah. Kind of like how how we were saying that um, in the trans community, like like it's good to talk about these things and be open about it and put it in the public eye, then hide it, because we need everyone to be on the same page in order to make change. That's kind of mm-hmm. the way I took it. Yeah, but people got pissed. They're like, no one's calling for black supremacy. Like that's that's a, a crazy yeah. thought. You shouldn't be saying these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that that is a good point. Um, 
there was a, an interview with uh, Immortal Technique, and he talked about this article from Political saying um, it basically talked about this white guy whose son was killed by cops and how if that can happen to a white person, imagine what's happening to minorities. Yep. And uh, the thing is, this goes beyond race. Until you fix the system for everyone, it's going to affect, you know, it's just going to trickle down and affect everyone, yeah. you know, gradually. And I guess that's also what it means to, like, what Terry Cruz was saying is that we need to fight this for everyone. Yeah. Not yeah. just the blacks. Not just the blacks, yeah. you know. Which, I guess, the idea is that, but I can yep. see where people take it. Black Lives Matter, like, this is just for black people. And yeah, like, right now, it's like, let's just focus on Black Lives Matter. Like, the, the all lives matter thing, it's obvious. Like, you don't have to say it right now. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I completely understand that. I want to talk about how the the virus is going to affect the music industry. And, what? like, you know, live music. And stuff like that. I think it will for the time being, but it'll go right back to the way back it was. Yeah. What about like all like I I read um this article the other day about like ninety percent of um independent music uh venues are in danger of you know going bankrupt or closing they had if they don't get any um any you know federal funding. Yeah, but the a music lot of industry is like like that's, that's rough. so much money. That's rough. You know, like so I don't see why like airlines are getting bailouts and um. You know, like banks have gotten bailouts many times in the past, but you know, the music industry music doesn't industry run can't. really like the banks yeah. are the financial institutions. They're of course they're going to get the bailout. Yeah, I just um, feel like entertainment is just so important to the economy, like to an extent. But the thing is, these businesses they're local businesses. Yeah, no one cares. And about that applies the to anything. That could apply to the grocery store or the pizza shop down the block or the <laughs> flower shop over there, like. They're all in the same boat. Domino's yeah. will get the bill out, but not Margarita's Yeah, because they're pizza. a giant. Yeah. Yeah. And then these little in th these little places that you're saying, the little venues, the only thing they got was that shitty SBA loan that dried up in like two weeks. Yeah. It, and, and I'm sure a lot of them didn't get that. Yeah, there, there was no foresight when they made that shit. And that's the thing. It's like. Yeah, and like they're opening up the economy um, in places and they're taking away the stay-at-home orders, but we don't have a cure and we don't have a vaccine, so... It, are they kind of asking for a second wave? Who well, knows? I don't know. It, it, it's a hard spot to be because, yeah, the government fucked up in the way they're helping small businesses. So mo a lot of people protesting for everything to open up are people that literally depend off of this and got fucked over by the government. Oh, yeah, and all the protesting is... And then the yeah. protesting is probably going to amp this up. Yeah. I, I can see this virus come, making a comeback if people don't take the proper precautions. I don't even know how can you if, you know... You got to work the, on your health. You got to like, you got to supplement vitamins. You got to you work, work your body out. Yeah. Dude, I was, I was hearing about this. I forgot who said it, but it's like you hear about, yeah, social distancing, stay indoors, this and that, but you don't hear about how to improve be your immunity, healthy, yeah. how to be healthy, yeah. how to take care of yourself. So if you do get sick, you can, you know, overcome whatever pathogen you have inside you. Hygiene is just so important. And they hygiene, can, they yeah. can easily get, say, keep up your, your activities, stay active, try to eat healthier, yeah, you don't hear Just any, give like, generic guidelines. They can at least attempt to, and they don't. Yeah, and that helps so much, especially when you get sick, because most of the people that, you know, get hit hard are the people that are probably, you know, have some type of a health yeah, issue. Under, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Underlying uh, diseases. Or underlying or, condition, yeah. Or obesity. Obesity is a big one. Yeah. yeah. It's so bad. It's so bad. And it's all the sugar. You know, yeah. uh, I was reading today that Trump said that exercise is bad for you. Are you no serious? Way. Yeah, it was in an interview Stop. like, like a year ago. Because um, basically, like I guess after college or something, he decided to give up sports because he thinks that the human body has there's a limit to amount of energy you have. I heard about this. So he uses it's that crazy. energy <laughs> towards like when he goes on his campaign trail. That's basically his workout. He hits the golf. That's basically his workout. And basically. He had someone that was working for him that was training for like a triathlon. He's like, "Oh wow, I guess you're gonna die young then." <laughs> what? Yeah, and he what? says, and he says that all his friends that work out always had to get like hip replacement, knee replacement, this and that. And but, he's in phenomenal shape. And every time they release like his, I wouldn't, say, I wouldn't say phenomenal. <laughs> yeah. But. Whenever I mean, maybe his, he thinks that. Whenever but. his uh his physical records, like his health records, are out there. They're always like he's really good. He just has like one little thing, but he's really healthy. This and that. I mean, he Dude, withdrew so a stone crazy. cold stunner, so. But <laughs> this guy's fucking. I, I just, idiot. I just, I just hate how he says stuff like that. And then, yeah, I guess he does have the, you know, the stuff to back up that he is kind of healthy. But 
No, that's but a dumb he's statement. Not, that's you know? not, he's not stupid. He's not healthy. He's not, he's he's like, not like, healthy. Dude. That's the first part. But but yeah, but like you said, like he has these doctors saying like, oh, he's good, you know. So he has that as but like kind of like a backup. Boys. Yeah. But, are, yeah. But, but people are gonna be like, oh, you know, wow, but he's right. Basically trying so to try and have a blanket statement of, oh, if you take care of your body and work out or do sports, you're gonna re- get your hip replaced. Well, like really? The, that's so stupid. Yeah. The thing is, there's a difference between exercising and then there's a thing up. Uh, professional athlete level of exercising yeah. where you're putting a lot of wear and tear on your body. Yeah, and what, and what sport are you doing? If you're playing football, then you're going to have injuries. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like there, okay, yeah, you're getting injuries not because you're exercising, yeah. it's because you're it's pushing your body to a limit. Yeah. And it's like just going against science. Yeah, this guy doesn't believe going in science against at science. all. <laughs> he, he just has this, you know, the physiology this, this, of the this body doesn't invincibility exist. <laughs> complex because you see him in all these photo ops and everybody's wearing masks but him. You know, and I guess Dude, he doesn't want to wear one because he doesn't want to come off as weak. His you know, ego. It's, just, it's ego, and it's the just thing, a very inse- that's the it's thing. insecurity, like, dude. This guy has he's, this guy needs to work out because once he works out, his ego is gonna be like, holy fuck, <laughs> like <laughs> like he needs to just squat and be like, help, help, <laughs> like right there, dude. Your ego's not gonna help you. Well, speaking yeah, of he, squatting, <laughs> speaking of squatting. Y'all saw that um the the Dems oh that, Nancy Pelosi the, the oh nine minute silence and that how was a, that was a nice se- that was a nice up. segue that Yo, was a nice the segue pan- <laughs> the pander is insane they Yo, pandered that hard. Was, people are upset that they wore the I don't know the name of it I don't remember the name but it was like a traditional like it's um, from Ghana from Ghana yeah traditional I read about like, it people are upset because this basically they don't really care they're trying to show as much as possible that they. They're making a show. So you're saying they're pandering. They're pandering. Dude, the pandering is insane. It's hard. It was who was it? The the secular talk guy. He was talking about. He's like, whenever in times of crisis, the first thing these people in power will give you is a symbolism. Well, Democrats will. Right. Yeah. So, for example, like the statues of the you know these Confederate leaders. Okay, it's Mm -hmm. fine. Tear them down. We'll give you that. But when it comes to policy, they don't do anything to fit. Yeah. 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 Yeah, They don't quell the problems. And that and that's why like people get pissed at that one because all right you know you show respect to the you know to George Floyd that's fine, but when it comes time for you to do your job and take action, you know and again this isn't something that happened yesterday it's been going on for years. Where, they where, where was yeah where, where was where was that a, a help when you the people really need it and on top of that like you know putting on the that that clothing um, the traditional Ghana clothing like. It just it just comes off as really bad taste, man. Yeah, yeah, it's because you're 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 coming out and you're saying, "Oh, I'm supporting, I'm I'm supporting the movement, and I'm all for it." But you're not doing anything to help the movement. You're not you're using just, your full power. You your know? virtue signaling is what you're doing. There's nothing coming yeah, out that, of this that's going to help anybody. That definitely mm-hmm. is. Oh, crazy. so you're saying like these are the people that can make a difference, but, but instead they're, not, they're doing the bare minimum. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're not doing the bare minimum. Yeah, that's not the bare minimum. It's less than the bare minimum. Yeah. yeah, the bare minimum should be okay. We're automatically enforcing um, cameras on all cops. If the cop removes it or shuts it off, then there's going to be a fine or they're going to get suspended. It, but federally, that would be the bare minimum, or something similar to that. They're not doing anything. Yeah, like honestly, yeah. what propo- what proposals have come up since this, George Floyd passed away? Nothing. What has Congress done? Nothing besides just shit on Trump. I feel like that's all you ever hear. Sh- sh- and yeah. when and, Trump doesn't kind of, shit yeah, on and shit on some of the cops too, and yeah, just shit on cops shit on. in general, which they shouldn't be doing. Yeah. Besides that, like I haven't heard the the only thing that has happened is what uh, we initially talked about the defunding the police in uh, in Minneapolis. Yeah. But besides that, what else has been done? But that that's not. But a, that that's not a federal. And, that, and that's not even a federal decision. thing. Yeah, you're right. That's yeah. not. Yeah, that's not something um, Nancy Pelosi would do. That that's on the that's on the, like the the city level. Mm. Yeah. Like, she has the power to. She has the power to help. Yeah, and she and, won't do and, shit about it. And you could, the Dems literally are in control of the House. They can bring forward shit. You know? But instead, they just they just shit. Anytime there's a proposal like like a Medicare for all proposal that'll save so many people, like bankruptcy and lives, they they just they they get rid of it from the bill. They say, oh, there's no language for this in in, in the bill. Anytime it's, the progressive um, legislation comes up, so it's it sucks because Nancy Pelosi is a fossil. <laughs> And she really shouldn't be running the Democratic Party because she is basically, I don't want to say she's a puppet of corporations, but she is so in bed with corporations. It's not even funny. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's like, just it's just pouring out of her skin. Yeah, a lot of people want her out. Like he, here's polls. the thing, dude. Like, And it goes back to what you were saying about defunding the military because all these people shit on the war, you know, 
um, the war in the Middle East, that you know we should get our troops out, this and that. But when it comes time to vote for the defense budget, look at all the people that vote for Yo, that Trump's was a, that was defense a slap. budget. That was a slap in, in any And in, this in is on record. Face. You can go on the governmental website and see who voted for it. And then you look at like that. There was no pushback. It went smoothly. There was no that should uh, infuriate every American. No, yeah, no, no uh, reporting over it. But yeah, when it came to you know what happened with George Floyd, all they did, the only thing I've seen that they did is obviously pass no legislature. But that whole symbolism of you know let's uh, kneel for nine. They yeah, come out and minutes. they put posts and like we support the movement, we support this, we support that. But there's no policy. Yeah. Yeah, there's no policy. And there's a big focus on um, social issues rather than, you know, foreign affairs. and. Well, then there should be a – okay, okay. so right now there's a focus on, on social issues, rightfully so. So they should be putting forth ideas. Mm-hmm. And the ideas are out there. Yeah, The ideas are sure. out there. Like you just said, there are they're ideas yeah. out there. Yeah. They just – They just don't want to listen because they, they – I really believe they don't the give agenda. a shit. Because at the end of the day, go their way. It, they're it, all snakes and they're all, you know. It just feels like everything they do is to appease corporations. So yeah, social yeah. issues don't appease corporations. Man, it's because money, dude. Money, money, money talks. strong, man. Yeah, that's what it is. I mean, it, it goes back to the whole this whole lobbying issue where, you know, you get bought off by corporations and now you're pretty much in debt to them. And then if, God forbid, you know, you, you piss them off even the slightest, there goes your campaign or your yeah. next re-election. Honestly, the ideas that are coming out now, they're like the higher ups and the Dems are probably gonna propose it a year from now and be like, "Yeah, we thought of that." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but they're gonna propose it knowing that it's not gonna go through, though. They, just they but you know what though? Yeah. They should at least put. They should at least write a bill. They should at least write bills, even even if it has no chance. Just just do it. Just write the bills at least. At least get the conversation like going in, in the right direction. Just show that you're trying. Because once you start doing that, then at least okay. There, there might be a zero percent chance of it going through, but at least we're starting. We're, 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 we're start. We're, we're getting the ball rolling. Yeah, and you'll have people on record. You'll see that you know there is support for this, and you'll uh, yeah, see yeah. who are the people that aren't and that you know don't want things to change. And then you'd hope when election time comes, that's when people step you see up. The right people. Mm-hmm. And it all comes down to that many people voting. Dude, you go back even twenty. It's the same people running the government. The same people putting the same proposals. Dude, how long has Nancy Pelosi been in, in dude, freaking dude, Congress it's, it's or in the, Washington? The problem is you have to wait until you, – you have to wait like 25, 30 years until these people are literally out of office. Like they're not yeah. getting voted out of office. Mm-hmm. Well, it, they should be, but it's just so – they're, they're too, they have too much of an iron grip on, on their party. Nancy Pelosi will the, – the, the DNC will completely shit on anybody running against yeah. her. She's not going to lose that position. Her her seat's or up. Or Chuck up, Schumer. Her seat's up for an election um this year in California. I mean, that's California. They have to decide if they want to keep her there. Yeah, but at the end of the sure day, there's will. no term. <laughs> there's no term limits, and just keep should running there, again. There, yeah, and there, uh, yeah, they, should yeah. there be? Yeah, for for Congress, uh, for, for shouldn't for there be the term House, limits? The House on, and for Senate on everything. Right? Yeah. Well, set well um. Maybe make yeah, a term a, there's, limit. There's, there's no limit for either. Maybe right? make it a little longer than presidency, but there should be a term is, limit. Is uh, are they up for election every year, or is it like a certain? No, I think it's. I think it's four years, right? Every, or is it two years? Two years. Every the midterms. Yeah, I, I, it depends. It's two or four, but it depends. You know. There definitely should be some. How type long of term has AOC limit. been in? Uh, Twenty eighteen, she got this elected. This is her second year. So it's like every two years then. She's actually up right now. She's up right now too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but she's not gonna lose that. She's good. I I really I really like her. I like her. Um, mm-hmm. She's I, good, but she just has to not sway off her path because she's had like little no, run-ins yeah, where. But you know she she's she's end. young. She's literally she's very emotional. Like she's us. literally That's very, very emotional, she which isn't a, a bad thing. That's it's just you can't point. act on emotion. Yeah. yeah. But the thing with again, it comes down to um, to not wavering, man. Because once you start wavering, once you start getting leeway, like... Yeah, it's... like when they voted for that bill, when they all voted for the fucking, um, the first coronavirus bailout or the second uh, one, the big one. The CARES Act. The, the CARES Act. There was so much shit in there that shouldn't have been in there. And they yeah. all just like, they oh, all voted yeah, for yeah. It. yeah. I mean, at least AOC, I'm going to give her this. She did vote, end up voting for it, but she fucking, like, she went on in Congress and ripped the fucking whole bill apart. She ultimately ended up voting for the bill, but I, you need more people if to come out and just... And, and speak their truths, you know? Yeah, there's, there's really no, like, real strong coalition for progressives. We have the time to do a podcast and talk about it, but how many people have time in their lives to 
go look into depth about things. Yeah, I know. They, no, that's a good point. It's it's not, you know what? People have the time, but they would just rather, you know, give it's that time to other the, stuff. The thing is, yeah. the thing politics is, isn't politics isn't a juicy thing to like to get into. The thing is, dude, it's not like most of the stuff is on the surface. Like you have to dig deep into finding out all this crap. Mm -hmm. Like uh, if I told you right now that that Obama had a similar thing with these protests, like he reacted a similar way that Trump did. Would you believe it, or would you even know how well, to find it? I, I remember it happening to an extent. I mean, his language was significantly different. Oh yeah, it was different. Significant, but I mean, the the but end the result was the same. Took, yeah, the yeah, actions, actions nothing took. has changed. Yeah. But there were plenty of protests. You know, yeah. Um, Ferguson happened. Um, when Obama was in office, dude, the Black Lives Matter started when Obama yeah, was in office. Yeah. Like, can you can you imagine that? Like, I remember Bernie was campaigning, and uh, there was that whole thing that happened where. Um, a couple of Black Lives Matter people, I guess, tried to come on stage. Yeah, and he walked away, and he's like, "Speak." He's like, "Yeah, like I'm, yeah. I'm gonna let you talk," you know. And dude, yeah. dude that, Bernie, that, that, he's, that, that, Bernie's yeah, one he of was, us. He was man. a day one man. How much does media control so you don't see that shit? A like, lot. How many people? Yo, that wasn't on the media. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was on Twitter though. That, that was, was on Twitter, Twitter and YouTube. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. it just goes to show the attention span. Dude, like, they but do that... anything to protect their can their their corporate yeah, candidate. like like the whole Tara Reid thing. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. whole situation is fucked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with with what's going on now, it's definitely the, like under they, the rug. The Biden campaign was forced to talk about it. Yeah, they were just going to completely ignore it until it just blew up to the point where they had to say something. They, they were they were really they really thought okay no newsletter is going to cover it it'll just go away and it got to the point where it was it was, it was, get, it was getting uh, so much steam and traction they had to mention it and then it still just gets written off like oh no no I don't believe her and then all these people come out and they go no this is wrong yet th this whole Me Too movement that's supposed to believe all women um, it, it doesn't apply to your candidate your corporate candidate when they're running for president right it's a, so it's okay yeah. it's okay yeah. to, to to do horrible things to people. If you're running for president, and Clearly. You're, you're, it's your corporate candidate. It's Clearly. okay to back them. That's America for us. Mm -hmm. Shit's heartbreaking. Yep. It, it's like, so it's like, dude, why would you even want to get into politics? It just gets you mad. It just you just see what can be, and then you see the powers that are, and you see how they're not helping you, and you just get enraged. It's crazy how like you're supposed to relate to these people, you know, and and you can't because they're clearly above the law. They're supposed yeah. to. Yeah. They're supposed to represent you. It's so not that. It's just a big oh, fucking well, let joke. Me, let me add on to that, actually. Like, they're supposed to be relatable, but then, like, they commit these atrocities, you know, and, like, that's not relatable. Well, Bernie did, like, decades ago yes. in what we're doing now. Exactly. Every, Bernie's, Bernie's, just, wow, um, like, just, which is insane. Like, Bernie, we love you, man. Like, dude. <laughs> Until it becomes a corporate man. Yeah. Until it becomes a but corporate we know, man. So we know your heart's but in the right about, place, like, dude. There's probably that one person that's protesting right now that's probably getting locked up, like, 30 years from now will probably change the world. Yeah. Yep. There's oh, a yeah. Bernie Sanders in Oh, there, yeah, big time. Which is insane. Well, I think Bernie, by breaking so far into how he did um, during the primaries, dude, like, he, he definitely he paved the way for the next one to get there lot, yeah. and take it even further. Yeah, the fact that he not the fact that he was the front runner and was about to run away with the whole fucking thing before they, they literally just robbed him. And he him. started from nothing, um, too. Mm -hmm. like, he started from, like, that's definitely, four people watching him speak at a park. And he won, yeah. And then he then he won his um his mayor bid by like one vote or two votes yeah. or something. It was very close. Yeah. To fucking the time he went in Brooklyn, that shit was at capacity. They couldn't let people in. Yeah, they they, yeah. they inspiration stopped. insane. That was that yeah, shit was powerful. We we need more people like that in politics. Yeah, yeah. And then and then once that happens, then there will be no more like shilling for Biden after you know talking shit about him for months. You know, once they're in the majority, then. They can stay that Biden's way. Biden's so bad. They man. can stay in the majority. I read that are. um that Bernie said comparing his like 2016 and now that he has a better relationship with Biden and he's getting Biden to be more open towards progressive views. I don't buy it though. Yeah. I don't buy that. You know, I, I I hope. But you know why I don't buy that though? Because you look at Biden and you see clearly that he's Hillary 2.0. There's no you. you, you I I'm not going to debate this. I, I, you guys in the debate this? Hillary 2.0? What makes you say that, though? Because they have the same exact fucking policies. They go about their business the same exact way. So they'll, they'll, they take money from big donors. The, um, they believe in horrible trade agreements, even though Hillary came out like last minute. It's like, no, I, no, no, I, I changed my stance. Biden hasn't changed his stance. Biden is less um, politically smart. Uh, he's less savvy. He's obviously in, also in decline, rapid decline. But they're basically two heads of the same coin. 
Yeah. And Hillary Clinton said the same shit. Uh, do you remember when Bernie endorsed her in that video? Yeah. Um, he endorsed Hillary, and then they, they were basically talking about like how a lot of Bernie's plans, like she was gonna, she was also going to endorse and try to push through. Literally, the second the primary ended, she became a fucking like she went right to the Republicans, trying to court Republicans. Everything changed. Yeah. Medicare for all was not mentioned. Nothing was mentioned. Minimum wage wasn't mentioned. Instead, she goes, "Oh, coworkers are gonna lose their jobs." <laughs> it's gonna be crazy like 20 years yeah. from now when people read the history books they'll be like what the fuck was wrong with people they're gonna people? be like a fucking Looney Tunes cartoon character <laughs> a, a WWE star was the president and he was really good for the economy but he was horrible on social issues <laughs> I mean, that, that's basically I what mean, it's gonna was be was he good for the economy cause like <laughs> well for the past four years he's been really good for the economy but well, then, because this, this yeah. I think a big part of this protest is based on people that were well here's the, the thing the economy does not represent it should, but it doesn't represent people and their well-being. Yeah, he did good for the economy. Like jobs went up, unemployment went down. Uh, we the the dollar soaring, right? Now yeah, he true. he did this, but the thing is, that doesn't equate to well-being of of the people of the United States. So people mm-hmm. are still have no like a lot of people still are struggling with their fucking part-time jobs, making nothing. Uh, paying high rents, crazy car insurance. But then, you know, you'll have people saying like, oh, but, you know, um, I get less taxes taken out of my oh, um, paycheck, so I'm, so, I'm yeah. good. so I'm good. Yeah, remember they tried to, like, push that? Oh, like, oh, I got an extra $35 in my in my check one time for the year, whatever the fuck that was. Yeah. So stupid. It's crazy. Dude. People are willing to give up things just for an extra 35 it's, bucks it's really well, crazy yeah, but it's also the people they just hate democrats too so yeah. they just go with whatever yeah. stupid and they're just uh, like Trump oh says. like let, here's here's a slightly positive thing that happened let me cling on to it yeah yeah, yeah. exactly mm-hmm. but is that too dude? like because people see and on both sides like people see what the already the other party does that's just horrible and they say well i don't want to be aligned with that i'm gonna go to the other side even though the other side is no better yeah, it's, it, it, and then the issue just is that like the other, and then the issue is that the other side is completely different. So yeah. it's like there's no there's no like middle ground at all. Yeah, there's no middle ground at all. We need that third party, a real third party. Well, here's the thing: in in Colombia, they have multiple parties, but a problem, that's like everywhere though. They like in um, in Britain, they have like five parties. Right, but the problem there, and I mean, probably wouldn't be a problem in Britain, but like people, anyone can can just uh, get propped up. So a lot of like politicians, they'll like let's say they'll run Democrat and lose, and then they'll just make their own party, new yeah. Democrat, and then run off of that. And then once they lose, they'll just make another party and run off of that. But that's Columbia. <laughs> that is <laughs> close. Some shady yeah. shit happens it, in it, It's not really a staple for how things should be run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another another history fact. Um, um, kind of, it's kind of like the I believe it was the Lincoln election where there were four candidates running. From like That's because yeah, we, had, we had, yeah we had a lot of parties back then. There were a lot, like yeah. you know, so it just it really made. So what happened to those parties? Like they just they just kind of like you know joined other parties, you Dude, know, like, like the a, Whigs, like the Whig Party, the Whig Party, the yeah. Whig Party, the OGs. Yeah, they wore wigs. No, it was it was W <laughs> it was W like I I H I G H I G yeah some <laughs> shit like that. Yeah, I think they well, did every, they, well, they, they did wear wigs. They they I don't know if they wore wigs, but they they did their hair up. Yeah, With but like I, I think powder. those are wigs. There are they wigs, were like powdered wigs, That's like funny. George like, Washington. Like the Why did they wear what their what's their natural hair look like then? Nobody oh, knows. Who knows? They probably had like a buzz cut, maybe a fade. Maybe because they had no, <laughs> maybe because they had no way of um really maintaining your hair back then. You know, they like they didn't have shampoo and shit. Maybe no they head just, and shoulders. They just so, figured, you know, like let me if I'm gonna I'm gonna be a. Uh, you know, a prominent political figure, so I need to look good all the time. So instead of worrying about my fucked up hair, let me just shave it all off and just wear a fucking wig. And that, wig, and that wig was in style for a, while, for yeah. a long time. <laughs> Damn, who was the first president to not have that wig? Oh, God, probably Jackson, maybe. No. Yeah, because he just looked old. Well, Lincoln didn't have I mean, a we wig. can look it up. Yeah, but, but Jackson was way before Lincoln. No. Yeah. I feel like Jackson had regular hair, but John Adams definitely wore a wig. Cause look John at that mother, look at, like, look at that motherfucker's portrait, dude. Like, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you can tell like, after a while, cause they all almost look the same. All these wigs. Imagine yeah. you're out of the. But I remember stage. Jackson is looking somewhat normal. I want to say I don't no, know. No, he, he doesn't have a wig, cause his hair is short. Imagine you're out of the debate stage mm-hmm. and your opponent's wearing a wig, and you're just like, come on. <laughs> Come on You still wanna see this shit? <laughs> you just walk over and just pull that shit yeah. off Like look at this guy He's a liar <laughs> <It's> a Fucking <laughs> phony <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh man 
But I mean, wigs. debates weren't really televised back then because television didn't exist. They weren't. You had to just go to, or they, and before even radio, you had to literally just go to. Um, you had to be there. You had to be there to see it, and that's uh, why these people they would have like these railroad um campaigns, you know, where they would just go on railroad on the railroads on railroads, and then they would just talk from the train. And just basically just talk to a bunch of people and then just travel the country that way. That's that was the old tour buses, you know. Wow, pretty, they should do that it's shit. It's pretty again. crazy. It's There's hard to tell who wh- who's wearing wigs or not. I have a list of the presidents in order with their pictures. Go to Andrew Jacks. Well, hold on. I mean, this guy doesn't help, but that could be a wig. That's Let me see. Let me see. That's not a wig. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. But but the, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Let me pull it back. Who was that? This this dude. Uh, James Monroe, James Madison. That's yeah, not Madison's a wig. Not. That doesn't look like a that wig. He's actually balding. Yeah. I guess they started to come to their senses a little bit in the in the 19th century, but <laughs> you know, like that early, <laughs> early the him. early days. Who came after? This guy, uh, James Monroe. So this guy is the Democratic Republican Party. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Democratic this, this Republican Party. James Monroe, what? Democratic Republican Party, fifth president. Yeah, and and they were running up against the Whigs, I believe. The na- then there's right. National Republican Party. Then there's Democratic Party. Wig. W H I G. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did he wear a wig? I don't know, but they want. Damn, they were. Yeah, they they were all the OGs. I don't think they wore wigs. <laughs> Let me see. Wait. Um, who was this guy? I, I think know. only George Washington wore a wig. Okay, so ninth president, William Henry Harrison. I don't know if that's a wig. It doesn't look like a wig. That's that not a wig. He literally was in office for like a These week. These fuckers didn't wear, didn't week? always wear wigs. He died. <laughs> he died. Um, he, um, fucking, I think it was his inauguration speech. He didn't wear a jacket and it rained or some shit like that. Oh and then he got pneumonia God. and he died. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Can you imagine? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was William yeah, Henry Harrison. Imagine a coronavirus outbreak. Hold on, let me then? Yeah. let's let's edit this part out. Just, let's see how yeah, much of a history buff I am. 1841 to 1841 yeah. is his term. Yep. But that was probably common. So like, it's pretty you, fucking wild, if right? You, if you got sick with something crazy like pneumonia, it was definitely a lot harder than antibiotics weren't a thing. Yep. So if you got sick, you're done for. When mm-hmm. did the first antibiotic? When was the first one? <sighs> Around the time they cured polio, yeah. like it was very, it's very recent. But that's why, like, I mean, I think it was Lincoln, um, who had maybe like, like numerous kids. I don't, I don't know the exact number, but like, probably like seven or eight, and like only like three of them lived to adulthood. So it's like, yeah, you pretty much, it was pretty much survival of the fittest back then. Nineteen twenty-eight. How many kids did Lincoln have? Look it up since you got your phone out. And how many Look survived? All this shit. This guy. But so it's a learning experience, you know. Oh, these Tennessee. are all fun facts about we'll our just country. We'll talk about so, this afterwards, as if yeah. we knew it already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll edit it in, so we'll be like, "Oh yeah, I, I know the exact number." No, this is <laughs> this is going straight. Yeah, you, yeah. No, nah, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, nah, whatever. Put it straight. Damn, we're breaking right, the fourth wall too straight. much, though. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we are. Hey, Eddie, how you doing? <laughs> our one, <laughs> our one viewer. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. We'll be more professional eventually. And he's not going to watch this part. <laughs> but yeah, so penicillin in the 20s. It so, ain't the same as it is now, right? No, I mean, they definitely made more advances. But before, before the 20s, there was no such thing as antibiotics. Man. Here's the real thing. They got to start telling people to exercise more. That's the real antibiotic. Yeah, if they want to prevent the second wave, get people fucking healthy. Dude, mm-hmm. you want to fucking change shit? Change the whole fucking food system. And yeah, stop with this yo. high sugar, high fat diet. Yeah, and and the food pyramid that's so outdated. They switched it. They got they rid of it. it. Yeah. They, they made did? a food yeah. plate. Mm-hmm. A plate? Yeah. <laughs> but when you say they get ri- got rid of it, like everywhere it's gone. Everywhere it's gone. There's no more pyramid. Like in school, they show you a plate now. It's a plate now. Oh shit! Okay. My healthy plate. What's on it? It's kind of the same shit. It's like proteins, veggies, carbs, fats, and then there's a cup. That says like dairy. But does it acknowledge that like healthy fats are good for you? <laughs> um, I don't think they'll ever acknowledge healthy fats. Yeah, I see that's a big you. problem. Yeah. Well, they the, will, but they won't give you. They don't. They don't the tell detail. you how bad sugar is because sugar is the fucking worst thing you can have. Basically, Dude, sugar is sugar's, sugar. Sugar yeah, kills more bad. people than than any than drug guns, that's banned. Probably. Really? Yeah. Sugar is the highest killer. I don't know about the world, but I definitely know in the states. But now, but that's because it leads to diabetes, right? Like Any that. type of cardiovascular disease. Yeah. Uh, you name it, obesity. Sugar. Yeah, heart disease is bad. Heart disease, sugar. Um, diabetes, sugar. But, but the good thing about that is a lot of that stuff is reversible. Yeah. It is. The problem is... But the companies, yo, they're like, yo, pop 
pop that sugar, just get them sick. Just take that pill. Just, take, I, just keep you, eating sugar, but take that pill. I got you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just they give you the pill, and you can maintain your unhealthy lifestyle, and that's what's going to keep. And you that's know. gonna give you crazy, yeah. And that's gonna lead to the terminal, terminally ill effects. Of yeah, man. Like, like diabetes, it's bad, and high, dude. Blood, high blood pressure is one. And the bad thing is that, like, you go to the doctor, they're like, "All right, you gotta exercise more." But like, if you never worked out, you're like, "What does yeah, he mean and by what does exercise that mean? Yeah. more?" Like, yeah. How many people? And the thing is, how many people start exercising? And yeah, when is it too late? You know, that too. And like, you don't really have an idea of how to get to being a healthy. Like, you'll you'll move more, but you won't have a like an actual guideline on the way you should be moving, what, what you should be yeah, doing, stuff like yeah. that. And the the worst part is all this like fake health, you know health articles on like yeah. what you should be exercising on what you should be eating all these crazy like there's so much information malinformation out there that dude it's all wrong people look at shit like you know fuck it, I'll just take that pill yeah, it's yeah, like, fuck yeah, that. yeah. it's not for me but. like high blood pressure um you can lower it slightly by lowering your, your salt intake obviously and exercising but so many people just pop the pill now there are there are obviously there are cases where high blood pressure is is insane. Like my dad has really bad high blood pressure, yeah, it could and he your actually needs the pill. Like but a lot of the cases you can you can um, you can lower it by you know eating healthy and exercise. Stay hydrated too. Yeah, hydrate. Too many people drinking yeah. juices. Yeah, that yeah the, see, the I, thing with juice. Yo, I juice remember is bad, this one dude. time I was at fucking Six Flags and this. One kid was like, all right, enough with this water bullshit. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, dude, honestly. Like, Damn. I don't know. Water's the way to go. <laughs> dude, denied the nectar of the gods. Yeah, the nectar of the gods is yeah. water. <laughs> yeah, because, dude, sugar is basically that. Just water with a fucking, I mean, sugar. Um, Juices are basically water with a bunch of sugar. Yeah, like, oh, fruct- fructose is okay. Fructose is not okay, though. Fructose is still bad. It still it spikes your insulin. It still stores uh, fat in your cells. In your liver, it's not good. Mm-hmm. Obviously, moderately, but like when you're drinking like a fruit juice, like if you're drinking, if you're drinking like a tall glass of orange juice, there's so much fucking sugar in there. It's crazy. Even if it's freshly squeezed, there's a shit ton of sugar in it. Unless mm-hmm. you squeeze it yourself, yeah. well, that's natural. But and that's but even, natural sugar. But even with that, yeah. But natural sugar isn't really that much better than sugar. Sugar. It's still fucking sugar. Yeah. The thing is, you're supposed to have it with some type of fiber, mm. so it helps uh, your body not. Uh, just just not flow through your system. It helps your body break it down slowly. That's why you see all these people with juicers and they're juicing fruits. And it's like that's not. Yeah, you're you're getting a lot. You are getting a lot of vitamins. Like you're getting not nutrients, but it's also very uh, sweet. They say that if you have a juicer, you should mainly juice leafy greens and like apples and stuff because apples there's a lot of water in it, um, and they're not super sweet. Um, and then if you're gonna do like a like a like what you just said with fiber, if you can do like a um, a fruit drink, you'd put it in the blender so it blends the the um, the fiber and the skin too, so blend it slows down shit. the digestion, so it doesn't just all spike blend insulin. That shit. Bitch. Yeah, because that's the problem. It's like <laughs> <laughs> it's like simple sugars. Your body processes that so quick, and then you know you. Oh shit. It doesn't, so you get that spike. Yeah, you get that insulin spike, and then guess what? You have it again, and then you got another spike, and then what happened to the point where your body is so used to just all these crazy spikes that it stops producing insulin, and and then diabetes, their diabetes, diabetes comes to thing. Makes you know, sense. it's one of the good things to do when you're working out, and it's like a long duration. It's fucking intense. Eat candy. Yeah, sugar is good. Whoa, did I get really loud? Yeah, well, a little bit. Guys a little sugar, bit. sugar is very sugar is good if you're taking it in small amounts when you're working out because it, yeah. it the energy. It's recommended like 45 minutes in because by then you're kind of near depletion. So you could have like candy or you could have like an apple or some shit. But like I've done that because I've had like some long intense workouts and I'll eat like Skittles. Just drink and, a lot of water with it. Yeah, just drink water with yeah. it and you just like you don't get like crazy energy, but you don't feel as like drained as before. Yeah, like your muscles are you're eating it up. It's not just sitting in you and then. That's why like Storing. Gatorade's good like at halftime and not like throughout the day just drinking throughout the day, Gatorade. Yeah. So Gatorade does make sense. It's just Gatorade it makes sense. It shouldn't be drunk just like yeah. casually. But there's better options than Gatorade. Yeah, there's like, yeah, like, yeah, coconut sugar- water better than Gatorade. Yeah. Those some of those armor um what are they called body armors are good too. Like they they'll have like a third of the sugar and it has the coconut water. It's got mm-hmm. like electrolytes added to it and stuff like that's perfect. Um you don't you don't want like it, even even a Gatorade probably has too much sugar in it too. Like if you get one of those large ones and you're working out, like yeah. there's a shit ton. Like seventy grams of sugar is crazy. Yeah, that's a lot. What that's they seven, 
what is that? I think each pack of sugar is four grams. I don't know. Well, they have they have Propel now. Well, they've had Propel for years, but it's electrolyte water. water. It's flavored water, and it has electrolytes in it. Uh, It's like smart water. You need something though in it. You need some type of calorie in it though Mm. for your body to digest. That's where sugar comes in. Yeah, yeah, yeah be, it's like, got the something. extra spike of energy. Uh, for Gatorade, so you know how the bottle is similar like this, where it has like the the tit, I guess you could say. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> like okay. it has this part, and then it turns into the bottle. Yeah. So what they recommend is that drink up to here, and then fill this part up with water. What? And that's mix it that's actually really smart. What about like Gatorade Zero? I believe they have now, where it's just literally like. It's pretty much diet. Gatorade. It's like, shit, it's like nasty. Coke Zero. That shit is I guess. nasty though. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. It's probably probably. Have you nasty. guys ever taken Coke Zero? Coke Zero is actually like very good. It's way better that, than diet that, Coke. Isn't Coke Zero just um, zero, uh, zero caffeine? Calories. It's zero calories, zero sugar, zero caffeine. Um, it does have caffeine. Oh, it, does. Um, it has to have caffeine. Um, That's why the bite it's, comes it's from. It's basically a modern version of diet Coke. It it, it it lacks like the after like that gross aftertaste that diet Coke what, has. What do they use for the sugar? Um, I think Splenda or like Stevia or whatever, yeah. whatever the shit is. Um, yeah, that shit's no that good shit's for you. All it's not. Yeah. It's not. It's but I mean, lab. but that's what they have in any, like, you know, pre-workout yeah. too. So it's like, yeah. well, a lot of pre-workouts you, you can't avoid this. A lot stuff. of pre-workouts they don't a shit ton of like. A lot of them don't have sugar too, though. A lot of them just have like. A lot of them have a shit ton of caffeine, a shit ton of like vasodilators, and a it's all it, it's. Fucked they'll up. they'll flavor it with the amino acids too. Yeah, like th- that's a lot um, of. Them. They'll just put like the essence. So of they'll it. say like zero sugar, but they have like mad shit in it. It's yeah. The marketing schemes, man. And all, yeah. of course, it's one scoop, so it kind of dilutes. But it's kind of like the mm-hmm. protein powders too. But they get away with it where the pr- the whey protein can also act as a flavoring, depending on what you put in it. Like they they usually don't put that much sugar. They'll put like a gram. All or these two things per scoop. aren't either like under FDA. None of it is right? shit like that. Nah. So. You should buy things that are FDA approved. Cause uh, I, well, you don't need those supplements because you could get all those, like what you're getting for the supplements, like the macros you get from food, from yeah. natural food. And it's better from the food too. The quality of it's better. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Essentially anything you should, your primary nutrition should come yeah. from food. Yeah. And a lot of the fucking, a lot of the pre-workouts and they have a lot of shit that doesn't really do anything. Like the, um, the pump, the pump stuff you said. Yeah. A lot of it. That works. Um, um, creatine works. Like, all that stuff's going to help you, but you don't really need it. Like, you could work out without it. A lot of it's just, like, I want to look at myself in a mirror and look fucking pumped, bro. A lot of that <laughs> stuff, too, like, if you take it once in a while, it helps. Um, Yeah, it's also, it's not bad for you if you take it, like, once in a while. Every, like, nothing's bad, nothing's good. It's all about moderation. Yeah. yeah. That's the, the end thing. You just can't abuse these things, you know? Um. Unless you have some like heart condition or some shit like that, yeah, and you, you should not take be taking pre workout. Yeah. Um, because like, I never recommend pre workout to people. I'll just tell them like, hey, if anything, just drink some coffee beforehand. Um, because what a lot of people do, because they're tired. Let's say like you have work or some shit like that, and you just take pre workout to wake up to wake up, but your body's not used to getting all this shit put into you. So you get like the tingling sensation. You get dizzy. You get, dizzy, you get insane amount of like your heart rate shoots up more than normal. So like you'll be walking. But you feel like you're sprinting, and then that leads to like anxiety or some other shit, depending on the person. That's not good for you that. if your heart's beating quick and you're not working out. Yeah, um, and there's often times like if you take pre-workout often, your tolerance is gonna build, so you need stronger pre-workout. So like you'll you'll drink like a full yeah. rain or something, and nothing happens. You just you're hot. That in a way it's kind of like vitamins. Yeah, like you yeah. don't need to take vitamins. And unless you're unless you're, you're deficient, um, unless you're deficient. But the thing is, if you take vitamin, like let's say, I don't know, you took vitamin A, B, C to D every day, and you, whatever your body doesn't need, it just pisses throws it out. It, yeah, yeah, throws yeah. It out as waste. So mm-hmm. you can take whatever vitamin you want. There, there's only so much your body can take in before it just it just becomes waste. But yet, you know, we have all these companies saying. Got the Flintstones. We'll, we'll get you. Yeah, we'll get you the vitamin supplements you need based on like a questionnaire of how tired you feel. Yeah. Hmm. Which which you can't do technically because if you're not a doctor or a licensed physician, you shouldn't be really recommending. And those tests are fucking dumb. Yeah, yeah. they're dumb. They're. You need more information than just a questionnaire or something. Yeah, that sucks. It'd be like people buy into that shit and fund that and then spread misinformation. Nutrition, the way they they teach you, like in school especially, it's a joke. 
It is a joke. Yeah, they don't teach enough no. nutrition, enough. The lunches are so bad. They're so bad. Dude, the lunches were horrible. Mm-hmm. Quality lunches. Though. I did, dude, even... <laughs> even <laughs> Spicy dude, chicken sandwich no, every day. No, that was that was all right. The spicy chicken sandwich was beast, no, it but was it was the definitely nasty not good. pizza bread. That was oh, fucking the French, uh, the French was bread. It, they, they would give us a. It was basically yeah. It was basically um, a piece of French bread, but mm-hmm. uh, it wasn't. It wasn't like put into an oven to bake. It was like yeah. microwaved, so it was soggy as shit. Yeah. And then you have marinara sauce and just this nasty translucent it, it, cheese it on it. Like, it was like it was like it was stringy. Like, it was, it was like tomato paste. It wasn't even like sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 was, it, it was just man. fucking like oh man. Like if you had like the early lunch, you were set. Like you had the freshest shit and like I wish they the I wish they made a, a bigger deal about nutrition <laughs> since last night. Well, they yeah. they did for a bit. I remember they changed up the lunch room. Oh, but yeah. it, they just added posters. Yeah, but it didn't it. really do much. They just started. They just added salads. They pretty much just threw money to the situation. Yeah, it was it was like a big push by Michelle Obama. The stuff we were getting was like still kind of, I guess, arguably like unhealthier because we were getting actual pizza slices, and then we were getting you know we had Tyson chicken sandwiches every yeah. single day. Like no matter what, even like regardless of yeah, what like that was on the lunch menu fucking... that day. Fucking mystery chicken and meat cheeseburgers. We had we had cheeseburgers yeah, all the time. I, I like the cheeseburgers. They were, they were nasty. They were good, they, but they, they were they yeah, were so they, bad for you. It was, but it's that, like that was mystery meat too. No, they were they were like actual. I think no 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 those burgers really no those burgers tasted really weird. They tasted like <laughs> they it, were really weird. It tasted like they if were, you were to take if you were to take ground beef and blend it. You did you ever huh? do that? Do you, you ever no. like? Do you ever take like a steak and blend it, trying trying to chop it up <laughs> no. to make like ground beef? I've done it before. It, you, you, I know what you're talking. Yeah. You can pulse no, it, never... and you can kind of cheat um, getting ground beef out of steak without using one of those grinders. But if you were to, but if you do too long, it becomes like a mush paste, and that's what those burgers tasted like. Everything was so compacted, and there was no texture. It was just mush. Yeah, it yeah. was very. The taste wasn't that bad. It was the. It was what it was. Yeah, that was and it was that plus, alarming. Plus, like not letting us have an open lunch period kind of sucked too. Oh, so yeah, we, you yeah, were we essentially forced to eat that stuff. Why did they do and that? And nobody really brought their own lunches in high school. People nah. would just wait it out, you know, and just like not eat and just eat at how home could you do or it. something. <laughs> it's <laughs> tough. How, how could you? Yeah. I mean, unless you had like a like a short day, you know, unless you had like four periods. But not even like bound. you would have to bring. Me. You would have to bring something that one doesn't need to be refrigerated and two. Can't mm-hmm. doesn't need to be heated up. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's hard. That too. Well, there was a microwave, I believe, in the in the lunch room. Yeah, but you had a. Where would you put your food for the fr- like the fridge if you need, if it needed for refrigeration? Yeah, where would you put it? you'd have to bring it in a um, one of those like ice packs. I've done that before. Like yeah. you get like those little waterproof ice packs mm-hmm. and throw some in there. Um, lunch bags and throw some ice packs in there with like a sandwich. Yeah, yeah. but uh, and I you're also, in high school with a lunch bag. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's you're, getting, you're getting shit you're on getting by roasted. everyone. It's not even that. You just have a lot of shit to carry. You have fucking like, yeah, you got mad. Seven you got books. books. Yeah. Like, ju- you know, books. You know, all this stuff. And now you got to carry a separate bag with you. I remember them containing food like that's heavy. Um, adding like when, when lunch got arguably healthier, like we never had like potato chips when we were like in like starting off high school, you know, no. like, and then all of a sudden they add potato chips and yeah, they were the baked uh, Lay's, which is a little better, but you know, it's like they were adding things that we never had. And then I remember they had ice cream at some points, like, yeah. like, and not even like the, like they were, there were popsicles, like the orange and cream or, you know, like the chocolate or whatever. But then I remember them having like a, like a walk up like Sunday station too, where they were essentially like scooping ice cream and like putting it in a cup sometimes. I'm telling you, man. And they- it was, it was crazy. It was like, yes, like the quality was, was significantly better, but it was just sw- stuff that was so much like less healthy. And then Snapple too. We had, Snapples. we had the Snapple yeah. vending machine. Yeah. They, we, we, um, adjacent to our, um, lunchroom was a kind of like a lobby to get to the gym. And, um, I remember for like our earlier years of high school for Pepsi, I, we had a Pepsi um, vending machine there that literally like shot out soda, but you couldn't get you couldn't access it during the school day for whatever reason. I guess they had left it unplugged. But sometimes you you were able to just plug that shit in. But but they didn't but they didn't want <laughs> they you would to plug it in. They didn't the want kid, you to. People would plug it in. Yeah, they didn't yeah. want you. But yeah. they didn't want you if they saw you with Pepsi like during school. They were like, no, like get that away, or like they would. They wouldn't want it. They would. They would want you to either have the water or the milk or or the, the juice milk. that, the, yeah, that the they milk were pushing. So good for you too. The yeah, milk. The milk, they were, man. yeah, having milk with food oh, yeah. was gross. Milk with pizza. Milk, yeah. <laughs> My God. And then, but they would encourage you to to just 
have that instead of you know going to, walking 20 feet and getting something from the vending machine but now that i think back on it it's like what's even worse is like what they were feeding us in in elementary school where we would have mcdonald's yeah, elementary school. Oh McDonald's. That, that was a beast i like that and like that which like is crazy because it was mcdonald's but it was, <laughs> so we would have mcdonald's every i want to say every monday or so and they, it would be a cheeseburger yeah, and fries oh God. Yeah. but they would like they must have ordered it in the morning and like cooked it, it like during there. breakfast yeah. hours because like because yeah by the time it was just well, it was lunchtime yeah, it, was it was just rubber, a yeah. soggy McDonald's hamburger but people would you know eat it up because they were like oh my god we're having McDonald's but at then school. the next day you'd get pizza um, pizza yeah. would be on Fridays on I Fridays. Yeah. yeah the next day would be some like Wait, really what, what stale day was McDonald's? McDonald's was Monday I believe oh, Monday and then and then the rest of the week would have like very Tuesday. stale bread with like tuna in yeah. it or oh, or maybe god. like or like a sam yeah or like a ham and cheese sandwich or something like that mystery meat fucking yeah. Or the raviolis. The raviolis, the raviolis, the raviolis was the worst. Right. The pasta was... But, like, how, how do you mess up pasta? Like, dude, the pasta was... The pasta so, was would bad. fall apart. It was so yeah. fucking... Like, you could tell it was just overcooked and sitting I in water. I think the best part was, like, the hot dogs. You can't fuck up hot yeah. dogs. And, but people <laughs> the bread, people the bread would eat was that just, stuff. The bread, the bread was, was fucking crinkled and... Yeah. yeah was, and, then, uh, and then, yeah, so pizza would be Fridays. And I remember us getting stuff from, like, local pizzerias at first. But then we got they started bombs. Papa John's. Oh, Damn. Yeah, they did Papa John's. And, I and that. it's just like, wow, like, like, what, why aren't we supporting like local? Well, you're not thinking. You're you're not a fourth grader thinking. Why aren't we supporting local businesses? <laughs> you're you're a fourth grader thinking. Oh shit! Like this is Papa John's. I love this pizza because I see it on TV all the time. You know, and like that's just kind of like so that was probably the idea behind it. You know, it'll make it'll encourage people to get it more it's because business, it was a national know? brand rather than some, you know, probably from pop. like some yeah. random pizzeria. All right, well, that's it. Episode one, second books. thoughts podcast. In conclusion, <laughs> subscribe to the channel. We're gonna put more stuff up. Um, it's gonna be different content than just podcast too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we'll, we'll talk see. a lot about even the comment we want to talk about. <laughs> For the six people that are watching this, mm -hmm. <laughs> including comment. us, including us on our yeah, re yeah. rewatch. <laughs> 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 I right, yo, peace out. See ya. Yeah, guys. See you, everyone. Take care.